Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be really fun if we did an updated everyday makeup routine video. This is going to be really fun. It's going to be super in-depth and we're going to dive into it. So grab a snack, grab something to drink because it is going to be a long one. I already did my brows to save a little bit of time. I'm going to run through with you what I use for my brows. I start off with the ABH Brow Free Gel to really smooth out my brows to get them to be as flat as possible and kind of give like that fluffy brow effect. Then I go in with my Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Chocolate Mousse. It's my favorite at the drugstore. If we're talking high end, definitely the benefit precisely my brow. Then I go in with this NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Espresso. It is very, very fine very fine okay look at that a very light hand is all you need to kind of brush in those really really small hairs helps to give you more brow hairs okay to carve out my brows I either go on with this this is the NARS soft matte in the shade Amandi or I go in with my REM beauty concealer but I love to use this for spot concealing cleaning out the brows if I'm feeling a little extra I'll use this for you know eye primer as well but this is such a good product under the eyes not so much but for everything else Yes. And then the brush I use for concealer is this one from the Morphe and Ariel set. This is the A19 brush. I use this side right here. I really wish that they sold these brushes as singles because I feel like that would be amazing because I'd have so many of these. Brows are done. The next thing I do is skin prep. Wanted to do skin prep with you guys, but first things first, I have to always hydrate my lips with a lip mask or a clear lip gloss or a clear lip oil. But today I'm going to use the Laneige Cotton Candy. I just want to use this one today just to add a little bit, something a little bit thicker because my lips are extremely dry right now. My lips need all the help that they can get. Before I go in with any moisturizer or anything like that, I'm going to go in with my Naturium BHA Liquid Exfoliant 2%. This is actually a new find for me. I love to watch Nikki Rose. This is one of her absolute favorite skincare prep products. Before she starts doing the makeup of celebrity, she's a celebrity makeup artist. She does have a YouTube channel and I love watching her channel. When I tell you I binged so many of her videos, so many, but I was like, wow, I don't really use an exfoliant. And I was like, this one seems like a really nice one. It's gentle. My skin doesn't react poorly to it. So I was like, okay, I have to get that, especially because she loves it. And I got mine from Target. I will have everything that I used linked down below in the description. Next up, I like to take my glazing milk from Rode. This adds so much hydration to my skin. Even if you have oily skin or combo skin, you still have to hydrate. This is very important to get your makeup to lay so beautifully and just become like one with your skin. Skin prep is is important so I always go on with this product I can't believe I never used to use a product like this before this makes the world of a difference with how my products lay on top of it I love it and then I'm gonna go in with some hyaluronic acid serum from inky list this is my first product I've tried from inky list and I really like this serum so I just wanted to start incorporating even more hydration because I noticed recently that I've been getting a lot of dry patches under my eyes right here. And especially when I put on powder, powder clings to it. So I'm like, uh-uh, we cannot, we cannot have that. So I need all of this hydration. My skin looks so yummy and delicious. I love it. We are going to put on sunscreen because I am going out today. I have been loving this one from Supergoop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen. It has SPF 40 in it. Got some samples of this from Sephora and I loved it so much that I wanted to purchase the full size. Yes, e.l.f. has a dupe to this one. There's something about this one to where I'm like, wow, this looks and feels so beautiful on the skin. This one does not have a cast or anything. It does have like a blurring effect to it as well. Skin is all prepped. So now we're going to go in with primers. These are the two that I reach for every single day, a blurring primer and then a primer to control my oils. So this is the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. You can tell that mine is well, well, well loved. I'm going to use this strictly in my T-zone and I'm going to take this under my eye as well because I have like, li I have literally oily under eyes. <laughs> like they are so oily, but this product helps to blur it out, but also helps control that oil there. Then I like to take what's left and put it on my eyelids because I do get oily eyelids as well. I love this product so much. I cannot wait to get my hands on the water powder serum because I feel like that's going to fit in my routine so well. For the rest of the face, I like to go on with a blurring primer. This one is from Cali Ray. It is 
literally one of my favorites i love it, it literally just adds like this blurring quality to the cheeks i love it you can kind of see like that immediate kind of blur oh so pretty look at that i don't know if you can tell just for me putting it on this side. This side is not blurred, this one is. You can definitely see that. Because I like to either go in with a skin tint or a medium coverage foundation, I have to color correct. The color corrector, I've really been loving this one from NYX. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick in the shade Apricot. So I like to color correct around my mouth here. And then I'll take a little bit under the eye, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit under the eyes. The brush I like to use for this step is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH08 brush. This brush is very dense and it's rounded, so it's perfect to just fluff in. Literally just fluff this in like this. Kind of like circular motions, nothing too crazy. Just blending all of this in. Literally, when I tell you this blends, so easy, not kidding. Then if I want to add a little bit more, I'll do that here. I try not to go ham when I first apply it, because sometimes I put too much, but it literally blends in like 0.2 seconds. For my foundation, I'm either going in with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint in the shade 13, or my Makeup Forever foundation in 4N68. So today, I think I'm feeling... Ooh, this is hard. I think I'm gonna do the Danessa today. We're gonna do Danessa because I love me some Danessa. And I love that this is a skin tint where you can go full coverage if you want to, or you can keep it more everyday, natural kind of vibes. I'm just gonna use a sponge to tap this into the skin. And like I said, I am in the shade 13. For me, I really do prefer using a sponge to blend out foundations because I just feel like we get a really nice seamless kind of blend and i feel like a sponge just helps it to soak into the skin this is definitely a good choice today because i feel like this is gonna look so good with all of the skin prep that we did but if you want to just keep it really natural this one layer might just be enough for you but for me I definitely want to go in with a little bit more because you know i just want to build this up especially here around the mouth and it's so interesting because I never really was a skin tint kind of girl, but this skin tint and the Too Faced skin tint are two of my favorites. I feel like those are the only two I have in my collection, I think. Two layers is about where I would stop with this skin tint because I feel like this is the perfect amount of coverage. I feel like this right here is medium coverage to me. If I go in with a third layer, then I'll have my full coverage, but love this i love 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 this product for bronzer the made by mitchell curve case is like a ride or die i'm dramatic okay if you're new here i'm dramatic but this is literally a ride or die you can tell that mine is well loved and well used so for bronzer slash contour i use these two shades right here for my bronzer slash contour this one is chocolate charm this one is shade and laid and the brush that I love to use is this one right here from Singe Beauty. This is the Ethel One brush. This brush is perfectly domed and it fits perfectly in these pans too, which is a plus. So I'm going to start off with shade and laid first and then I'm just going to keep this in the hollows of my cheeks. So I'm just going to place it down first and then I'm just going to tap to blend this in. So I get all of my Made by Mitchell products from Beauty Bay. That's where I do recommend to get your products from because his shipping, I don't even think he ships to the US anymore from his website because there was just so many problems. Packages were getting lost. I still, I ordered, a, I placed a really big package from his website, never got it to this day. It's been like two years. <laughs> but I just shop from Beauty Bay because they have all, they have almost all his products. They don't always put his new products on there, which is kind of sad. Now to add that bronze and that warmth this is the shade Chocolate Charm that we're going to go in with, and with this one, I just like to swipe it on, and then I go back in and then I blend. And then whatever is left, I take it down here, right on top of that shade and laid. 
I like to do my cream bronzer and contour right after foundation because if I go in with too much, my concealer will literally tone it down for me. So this is why I like to do this step. So the steps that I'm doing with you guys is exactly how I do my makeup on an everyday basis. This is exactly what I do. These are the products that I use. For a little bit of nose bronzer contour, we're gonna use this as well. So I like to use this brush right here from Sigma. It's in collaboration with Christian Dominique. This is her eye and nose contour brush. Doesn't have a number, but this is what the shape looks like. So I like to take a little bit of shade and laid, just a tiny bit because this formula is so pigmented. And I like to just go on the sides of the nose and kind of like flick it up like this. Sides of the nose and then flick it up. And I'm just going to flick, flick, flick to blend. I'm not gonna drag it all the way down because I found it gets a little bit lost in the sauce when I go in with concealer anyways. Next up is concealer. So this is a step that I just switched back because I used to do blush and then concealer, but I found that when I did my blush before concealer, then when I blended in my concealer, I was like kind of mixing the blush with the concealer and I didn't like that. So I like to blend in the concealer first and then go in with blush now. The two concealers I've been using are these two right here, the Natasha Denona for coverage. And then for a little bit more naturalness of the House Labs, love how the House Labs blends into the skin. When I say it literally like blends and melts into the skin, not kidding. So I'm gonna start off with the Natasha Denona first, and I'm gonna place this here in the inner. I do feel like this one is a little bit more, you know, brighter of a concealer. And then I'm gonna do a little bit here. And then the House Labs, I'm gonna take that further back here and kind of just lift everything up and just place some on the sides and I just keep this concealer like strictly on the tip of the nose and then I place this under the eyes. If you want that coverage, you gotta use a lot of concealer. Okay, this is the amount of concealer I like to use. So something that I found is with my sponge, also this sponge is from Target. This is the Sonia Kashuk sponge, the only sponge that I use, okay? I will use the sponge. But I did find that with my concealers, I use a sponge to blend out the bigger parts, but when it comes to under the eyes, a brush, only a brush, because it's really under the eyes where I want that coverage to be. So I'm just using my sponge to blend all of this out. I also feel like it's high key faster though, because using a brush up here, like I used to do, was like, crazy taking up a lot of time so then I just like to push this concealer up on the nose which is why I like to keep it here because I found that when I put the concealer here on the bridge of the nose it would get messy and go into my nose contour but now by me just like blending it out here and then taking what's left up the nose I can still see my nose contour which is what I love do you see how putting the concealer after the cream bronzer literally kind of brings it higher up and just tones it down a little bit. Listen, when it comes to blending out my concealer, I use a lot of different brushes. I use this one. This one's the BK Beauty A506 brush. I use the House Labs concealer brush. Listen, I'm a concealer brush girly, so I'm literally using any concealer brush that I can get my hands on. But I also like to leave my under eyes for last because it's gonna give me more coverage under the eyes when I go to blend it out. So now that this has sat a little bit, I'm literally just going to press this in and as you can see it has that dry down as well and I also like to take my concealer up like that because I love that more lifted look that it gives and then whatever is left on the concealer brush I like to take it on to my eyelid to kind of even that out as well to give myself a nice even base for when I do eyeshadow it also helps me to get rid of some concealer because if I have too much over here then I'm like where am I gonna put it look at how pretty these two concealers together oh I absolutely love it. I will always repurchase because they are so good together and then I like to just take my sponge and kind of go a little bit over the edge of where I stopped blending the concealer just to kind of help to melt it into the rest of my face just so it's a little bit more seamless. Now for blush. So here's the thing. <laughs> because I love blush so much, I always change out my blush 
for my everyday makeup look depending on how I feel. So the blush that I do gravitate to the most though for my everyday makeup look is this one from Makeup Forever in the shade Limitless Berry. I am going to use this today. I am going to change up my cream blush because why not? I have so many new blushes that I just have been loving. But since I haven't done a YouTube video using this, I'm going to use it in today's video. This is the new KVD Good Apple Blush Balm. I do have some short form content up using this if you want to see the other shades that I picked up. But I'm going to go in with this one because I feel like this is such a beautiful like burnt terracotta almost. It's gonna look so perfect with that Makeup Forever blush. And then the brush that I'm using is the BK Beauty 109 brush. Absolutely love this brush. Perfect. These have so much pigment, it's not even funny. This shade, absolutely gorgeous. So what I like to do is keep my blush higher up on the cheek. Also, do you see how this is just melting into my cheek? Like that literally just melted into my cheek. I also thought that this blush formula was gonna be like overly dewy, but it's not, it is not. This is just, I'm so happy that I got these. These are just insanely good. <laughs> There's so many good new blushes that have just launched and I'm just like, I cannot. I am like literally, I'm loving it. I'm loving all of it. This blush is so good. I knew that this blush was gonna fit so perfectly in my everyday makeup routine. I just knew it. This is one of my favorite parts, setting powder. Setting powder. This is my new favorite setting powder. It is so good. This is the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Banana. When I tell you, this powder is unbelievable. Like a wear test and everything with this powder, but I did see if it was waterproof. And best believe, it is. I even wore this powder the other day and I kind of, my eyes started tearing up, but it wasn't messing up under here. I was like, oh, this is a game changer of a powder. It's such a game changer. I like to take some in the cap and just tap it onto my puff. This is the puff that it comes with. I love it because it has like this little triangle, but I kind of like fold mine a little bit to get it like this. And then you see how it's kind of like, you see how it's kind of like chunky? Yeah. I take it on the back of my hand. I kind of like smooth it out like that. But let me just make sure I'm not creasing before I go in and set this. But you're gonna see this literal transformation of this under eye. It's about to look so good. Love this powder, look at that. Look at that, oh my gosh, this powder. This powder is so good. I feel like a good makeup look really comes down to your concealer and your powder. You gotta have a good concealer, you gotta have a good powder because if you don't, those under eyes are not gonna be as smooth. I'm just gonna set a bit of my face so we can compare. And uh, I am gonna set all of this. I'm gonna set over this blush as well. Cause hello, we got a waterproof powder on our hands, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna use this powder. I'm setting my eyelids as well because I haven't really been using eye primer lately. I've just been using, um, concealer and it's been working out for me really well all right so now i like to go in with powder bronzer i'm sure you've already guessed it the make beauty powder bronzer the brush that i like to use for this is the bk beauty 111 brush i think it's perfectly sized it's so small to where it really fits there but i love it i love it so i'm just basically putting this everywhere i put that bronzer i do like to kind of like tap you know i don't know i just feel like tapping is better but i do like kind of do swipe <laughs> when I go here. You know, I like to go back into that Sigma nose contouring brush and just take a tiny, tiny amount and just go over where I put that powder in the same type of technique. Just think this fits perfectly on the nose. Like this is such a good nose contouring brush. I love it. So for blush, the Makeup Forever Limitless Berry Blush. The brush that I like to use is the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507 brush. This is a nice angled kind of brush. As you can see, I love my BK Beauty brushes. I really, really do. But also, I'm just literally tapping this onto the cheek. I also do feel like a good makeup application does come down to good brushes for sure for sure for sure because I've tried a lot of brushes and you know some of them get the job done but my makeup doesn't apply the same depending on what brush I like to use. I have been trying to keep my blush higher up because I feel like it just lifts my face up. This looks perfect. These two colors together are like 
perfection. Like they look so good together. Now that I've finished all of my powders, I like to go on with multiple sprays because I feel like it gives me more insurance for my makeup. So one of the sprays I love to go in is this Beauty Blender Boost 4-in-1 Firming Peptide Spray. That is a mouthful, okay? A mouthful. And then of course you already know MAC Fix Plus. You already know. Both of these sprays just help to melt everything together. And I love it. I love, love, love them. I really wish they made a travel size of this one because I don't think they have one. So while that's drying, we're going to move on to the eyes. I don't really do that much for the eyes. Let me just tell you, I don't. <laughs> I don't do a lot to the eyes because when I do my everyday makeup look, I just, I'm quick, I'm out the door. But I always start with the bronzer and the crease, always. So, oh my gosh, I got this wet a little bit. What is that? Uh-oh. So I'm just taking the Make Beauty bronzer and I'm just bringing this all in my crease. I feel like this does add dimension to the looks. But then I also like to take it into my nose contour as well. This is the Bling Brushes X Page Corin brush. This is the E24 brush. Really, depending on my mood, I'll go in with a little bit of shimmer. It really does depend on my mood though, if I wanna go in with a little bit of shimmer or if I wanna keep it matte. But this is the palette right here, this baby. This baby right here, I have so many options, okay? I have so many options to choose from. This is the Beauty Bay Rich Rich Palette. This is their latest before the Smoky, even though I did buy the Smoky. It's on its way to me. This is literally the opposite of the Smoky Palette. It's crazy. I've been loving this shimmer. Where is it? Is it this one? It's this one. This shimmer right here is so pretty. So this brush right here, this is the large shader brush. This is a Sigma X Shayla brush. This is the E60 brush. You can literally do so much with this. I watched her live the other day and she used this for nose contour and I feel like that would be actually perfect. I don't want to fall out. So I am going to spray the brush with some Fix Plus and then just tap this on the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just going to keep it on the lid. I usually don't spray my brush because sometimes I do my eyes first, sometimes I don't, but it really just depends on my mood. But I'm keeping it, I always keep the eyes super, super simple, especially because I already have the bronzer in the crease. So I feel like my crease is already pretty defined. So I don't need to go in with any other, you know, shadows or anything like that because we're already pretty good. So some days I'll go in with a shimmer like this one and then other days I'll just keep it matte. But today I really want some shimmer because it's so pretty. And also same thing goes with like a winged liner. A winged liner literally depends on my mood for the day. Like it really just depends. Do I feel like doing a winged liner? <laughs> you know, like this color just melts into that bronzer. Subtle, it's not too much. It's perfect for every day. I like to put some shadow on the lower lash line. This one is the Sigma E30 Pencil Brush. I am gonna take a matte from this palette, something a little bit darker to really kind of smoke it out. Just a tiny, tiny bit, nothing too dramatic. So I am gonna take the chocolate shade. I'm always reaching for the chocolate shade, always. I just think it's like one of the prettiest shades. So I'm just taking this on that lower lash. It's not too dark, but I feel like it helps to define it really, really nicely. But this is the liner I've been loving. It's from Glam Light. This is their calligraphy liner. Look at that. It is, listen, I am, I would like to say I'm pretty good with liquid liner, but this one, this one really humbles me real quick when it comes to liquid liner. Like, oh my gosh, I have to be so careful. When I think I'm being careful, I ruin it. I love it. It's so, so, so good. We're not messing with that today. We're not, we're not messing with it today. So for mascara, this is my absolute favorite mascara, the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Love, love, love this mascara. Definitely my most repurchased mascara in my collection. And this is a fresh one too so there's nothing like a fresh one i feel like my lashes are always on another level when i get a fresh bottle but when it starts getting old my lashes never look as good i'm gonna let that mascara dry before i wipe it off my lid but for eyeliner i'm gonna go with the urban decay 24 7 pencil this is in the shade perversion nice black stays all day love it i'm gonna add some lower lash line mascara Highlighter before we go into lips. I I love my Dior palette. I'm so sorry. I love my Dior palette. This is what I use. I love it. I do sometimes switch up the highlighter, but nine times out of ten, this is the highlighter I'm using. And I just mix these two shades. I mainly go in with this one, but I do like to get use out of this one. I never really touch those two. 
oh, I wish this was a single. I wish they had a single of this highlighter because listen, I would be all over that. I am gonna put some on the cheek too. The brush that I'm using is the Blinked Brushes E11 brush. It's the black brush set. I feel like that lip mask came off throughout my makeup application. I don't know if that was a good idea to just do that, but I'm just gonna take my powder puff because this is what I like to do to make sure my lips are dry and ready for lip application. Lip liner, this is the one I've been using every single day. It's the Makeup by Mario Lip Liner in the shade Jeff. I do like to go in with a nice lip treatment though while I do my makeup because when it comes time to put on my lip products, my lips are so soft. Just blending it out with my finger a little bit so it's not super harsh. I have been experimenting with lippies lately, but for my everyday lip combo, I literally just use one product. I have been alternating between these two, so the first one is the e.l.f. plumping pins. I love these, okay? I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on these, but I love it. I don't know if it's because I just know what kind of product this is, and I already know you only need like three clicks, two to three clicks, and it's perfect, but my favorite shade out of all of these is Bust a Mauve, so good, which I think I'm gonna use this today. But we also have this one that I've been using. It's the new House Labs Hybrid Lip Glaze in the shade Guava, but I'm gonna go in with this one because I love it. I love it so much. So one, two, three is what I do, three clicks. And then I just take it in the middle and I do that, that's it. And I'm still working with that three clicks. See? So pretty. All right, and then to finish this look, Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. I love the finish that this gives. This truly does work, but it doesn't give like a matte finish. It gives more of like a natural finish to the skin. Yes, I have this extra large version because I love this spray so much. Whenever I finish my makeup, I like to go back to my brows because sometimes I lose hairs. This is the Morphe brow pencil. Sometimes I lose some stuff, you know, because of all the products I just put on, you know, I have to kind of like fix it up again. That is it for my updated makeup routine. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know it was such a long one, but if you stayed to the end, thank you so much for watching, and I'll definitely catch you in my next one. Bye!